Welcome back to Sugar Free Reviews. So today, we thought we'd start our morning with the most important meal of the day, breakfast. So we got what, Cocoa Pebbles, milk chocolate candy bar, king size bar, it's the only size that it comes in. I found this at Walmart. Again, this is another product that I found months ago when it was first released. I just haven't had time to make a video on it yet. Uh, what do we got? Half the candy bar. No, hold on. There's three servings. So a serving is 16 carbs. The entire candy bar is 48 carbs. That is crazy. Less than one gram of dietary fibers. So all sugar. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds sugar free review worthy. Right. This um, is the opposite of sugar free. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you like the actual cereal? I do. I do too. I like the cereal and I like chocolate. Yeah, I preferably milk chocolate, which this is. Um, yeah. I'm hoping it tastes like the cereal though, because they have it on the front of it, so that's my expectation. I want to taste the cereal. Well, we got to thank Philadelphia for this creation to think it's good. <laughs> You ready? We're ready. I don't know why I like to open it without ripping the thing and bust this line open back here. I like that better too. Oh, look at the back. Looks like it must have the cereal all embedded in it. Throw in the back of that so they can see all the bumps. Reminds me of like a, a crunch bar. A crunch bar. Yeah. I don't smell it. I just smell like Hershey's chocolate. Is this made from Hershey's or is it from that? Um, who makes it? Warner Brothers. I don't know. I'm trying to see. It doesn't mm. say Hershey on it. Is it from... Um... Try it. Mm-hmm. I get hints of it, but it's almost like the chocolate is trying to fight the flavor of the cereal away too. The, f the flavor of the cereal is chocolate. Yeah, but that cereal has a pronounced flavor to it. Like, if you had that with a generic cereal, you'd know which one's which. I can taste it, but I want to taste more of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me try. I can't even taste the cereal. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> it's good. I feel like the crunch sensation that that cereal brings, this mm -hmm. doesn't bring that. By the way, it's made by Frank Ford. Frank Ford candy. Huh. So that's not Nestle and it's not um, Hershey's. Hershey's. Unless they own... We'd have, uh, to, a little part of that company. we'd have to do a Google search. It's Simple. not a bad tasting candy bar, though. Who owns Frank Ford candy? Sam Himmelstein. According to some information I found on Wikipedia. Is this Philadelphia on it, too? Um, Frank Ford Candy and Chocolate Company is an American candy manufacturer located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, founded in 1947 by Sam uh, Himmelstein. The current C CEO is Schwartz Stewart. Stewart Selenik. 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 Yeah, it doesn't. So that's just a And family. it's a family owned okay, business. I like that. Yeah, I'm probably a Jewish family. Those are Jewish last names. Stein? Isn't Stein? Uh, it, yeah. yeah. 
Maybe. <clears throat> Interesting. I love that it's a family-owned business, though. No. Yeah. And the they candy so bar itself does not taste bad at all. Well, they're big enough Disney to partner with Walt Disney. Why Walt Disney owns Flintstone? Yeah, it says it right in the back. Oh yeah. Warner Brothers, I meant. Warner, oh, Warner Brothers, Brothers, not Walt Disney. Yeah. Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, yeah. Flintstones and all related characters and elements. Okay. Host Foods. That's who. This is yummy. Eat right. away! I can't. I gotta be good. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys soon with another video.